When you're working in fusion sketching, the order in which you select things does matter, but there's some interesting rules here. So when it comes to adding constraints, when you select two things or multiple items, when you go up to your constraints, you choose a value like equal, it's gonna make them both equal. But does it matter which order or which one you select first? And the answer is yes, but let's look at the additional rules that Fusion uses. The first rule is if it's completely undefined, this doesn't have any definition, no dimensions, no constraints, and neither does the other entity. Whichever one you select first. So in this case, I'm gonna select the right line and then select the left line. Because this was selected first, this will change its length to match the first one if we were to choose equal. They now match, this one is matching this distance. But because neither are defined, you can of course just drag one and they're both gonna update. What's interesting, the first one selected is the one that will define, but if one of them is even slightly constrained, here's one thing that's interesting. If I add a coincident to the origin, this line is now more defined than that one, even though it's just a simple constraint at the endpoint, it's not the length or anything. But if I were to select this line, let's do this one first, we'll select this line and this line and make them equal. You would think that this would be the defining dimension and this would shorten, but no, because this is more defined, it's going to be the one in control. So I make them equal and this lengthens to match that one. Of course, if you add dimensions or anything else, that's also just gonna add more definition. So if I make this 95, they're both gonna change and match each other because they are equal. So the order in which you select things does matter when it comes to constraints and dimensions, but whatever's more defined will control uh, the constraints that are shared. Now, I hope that helps. I'll see you guys in the next video.